I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about partial fractions. In problem number 39, we'd like to find the form of the partial fraction decomposition of this function, which is 20x over x minus 1 squared times x squared plus 1. All right. So we've got two interesting things going on here. Uh, if you look at the denominator, I've got a linear term squared, and then I've got this other term. This cannot be factored down, okay? The only way I could factor this down further is using imaginary numbers, and we're not really doing that in calculus. This is an irreducible uh, quadratic term. So I've got a linear squared, and I've got an irreducible quadratic. So what I do if I have something of this form is I need to break this up into three fractions. I'm going to get two fractions because of the linear being squared and I'm going to get an additional fraction for this irreducible quadratic. So the linear squared, it's going to give me a fraction a over x minus 1 where the x minus 1 is not squared, plus b over x minus 1 squared, all right, plus a fraction for the irreducible quadratic. Now the irreducible quadratic, uh, the top, the numerator of this fraction could possibly contain an x. Uh, the bottom is x squared plus 1, but the top could be cx plus d. So we have to account for that. So if the bottom term is linear, then the top is a constant. And if the bottom is a quadratic, then the top could be a linear. So we've got our setup of our partial fraction decomposition and that's all this problem is really asking for but it's really important for us to realize when am I looking at a linear term now this just happens to be a linear squared and this is an irreducible quadratic if you can keep the two straight it's very easy to set up this partial fraction decomposition. If you're confusing the two and you're not sure when are, am I living in the linear factor world and when am I living in the irreducible quadratic factor world, then it's very hard to set up partial fraction decomposition, so just be careful with that.